What's the easiest way to keep track of employee advances? I'm glad you asked. Um, we won't go into the background to that of why are employees being issued advances and, and how long do they ex do you expect to take until they get repaid? Is it automatically with the next payroll or how all that works? I'm just going to answer the question. But if anyone has any follow-ups, all you have to do is post them and I'll answer every follow-up question. So the easiest way to keep track of employee um, advances, and that's advances paid out to employees before payroll, is in the accounting system itself, do not make extra spreadsheets for this. Trust me, you will cut down your work from ultimately like an hour between how should I design the spreadsheet and recording it and then checking it and double checking it and uh oh, this one didn't make it into the payroll because it wasn't integrated with the, with the accounting system and whatever, to 30 seconds, I'm telling you. 30 seconds. Major time saver. We need a sound effect for a major time saver like doo, 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 major time saver. And that is um, in the accounting system, in, the, in whatever screen you use to record the disbursement, that's the, the payout to the employee, where you would normally put an expense account, you need to have an, um, an asset account in QuickBooks language that's called other current asset called employee advances. Now that's part one of two. You track them that way and make sure to have the employee's name in it. And part two of two is to record the repayment, which is when you normally would um, record the transaction showing the payout, show that transaction, show that payout, but have a subtraction from that tagged with the employee's name with a negative number for the amount that was withheld from that paycheck because of the employee advance. So whether it's withheld all at once to repay it, or whether it's re, um, withheld in $10 increments over 10 weeks or whatever it is, um, that's the way you do it. Now part three is how can I run a report to see of my employee advances balance, how much is owed back from which employee. Um, how to do that precisely depends on the accounting system that you're using, but trust me, as long as you're entering all of this data, you will be able to run a report that just shows the employee's name and how much is due back to your company from each employee. And when that, those numbers add up, they should tie exactly to what your balance sheet figure is. If your accounting system can't do that particular report in the system, then you should be able to export the ledger to Excel, put together a pivot table, boop, 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 and then get the answer. That should never take more than, seriously, 30 seconds. And if it takes you longer than that, give me a call. Don't waste your precious hours on earth trying to figure this out. I know the answer. I'll help you in five minutes. We'll make it happen.